2022 Mazda MX-30 EV Review, Zoom Zoom Responsibly. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The 2022 Mazda MX-30 is a compelling vehicle at face value. It's a stylish electric compact, with the dynamics you expect of a modern Mazda, a quirky interior, and great features. And in terms of price, the base MX-30 costs $33,470, while the Premium Plus model adds more features for $36,480. But those attributes only paint part of a more disappointing picture. With 100 miles of range and a puny 35.5 kWh battery pack, Mazda's first foray into the EV space falls well below average. It's also only available in California for the time being, which some might categorize as a compliance car. Not to mention just 560 brave souls will be able to get their hands on one this year. The good news is that a plug-in hybrid version will be available in all 50 states, although that won't happen for another few months. Until then, EV shoppers in the market for a Mazda should probably hold out to see what the next few years provide. While the MX-30 is an electric crossover high on charm and style, those benefits don't outweigh this car's many faults. Mazda's Kodo design language looks beautiful on all of its vehicles, MX-30 included. The compact crossover borrows cues from the CX-30, like the sloped roofline and cladding, but it employs a sharper design language than the gas alternative. The MX-30's front grille is smaller, the headlights are flatter and cleaner, and the C-pillar introduces a stylish silver trim with Mazda embossing. The taillights with rounded LED finishes look great, too. And of course, the rear freestyle doors are a cool carryover from the dearly departed RX-8 and give the MX-30 a sleeker look. The ceramic metallic paint on this tester with a standard black roof is an $895 option. Although we recommend you spend the extra hundred bucks for Mazda's signature sole red metallic, $995, it's way more interesting. And a single set of 18-inch wheels comes standard across the board, so the visual options are limited. Inside is where the MX-30 stands out from the rest of the Mazda range. It features a revised take on the brand's traditional interior design with a new shifter, an additional touchscreen for climate controls, and a gorgeous floating center console with storage behind it. The MX-30 even introduces a material uncommon in modern cars, cork. It's a fun nod to the company's inception as a cork manufacturer. Cloth coats the center of the seats, with faux leather accents surrounding it. Black pleather dots the other surfaces of the MX-30's cabin, and all of it looks and feels high quality. Hard black plastics and brushed aluminum fixtures make up most of the center console too, and both of those materials are sturdy and feel nice to the touch. The MX-30 offers ample overhead space and legroom if you're sitting in either of the front chairs. The 38.5 inches of front headroom aren't as good as what alternatives like the Ford Mustang Mach-E, 40.5 inches, and Chevrolet Bolt, 40.1 inches, offer, but the difference is barely noticeable for your 6-foot-tall author. The Mazda's 41.6 inches of front legroom, on the other hand, are class competitive, Besting the Volkswagen ID.4, 41.4 inches, and Tesla Model Y, 41.0, by a smidge, but still down compared to others like the Mach-E. The flat nature of the dash and the low-mounted center console helps things feel airy from the front compartment, too, even if the windshield is a bit narrow.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.